As the sun rises over Chatfield Farms, it's not just a new day. There are a ton of unknowns. It's a new era. The farm is sending power to the grid. Denver Botanic Gardens launched the research farm to learn how solar power and food crops can complement each other. We are looking at growing mixed crops under these solar panels to see A, if they do better with shading, and B, if we can use less water because of the savings with the shade. You might think shade would be bad for food crops, but it can actually be a benefit. Because when plants get too hot, their photosynthesis shuts down. Having the panels here providing the partial shade and lower temperatures allows higher total photosynthesis to occur throughout the day. Some of the biggest success stories are leafy greens, everything from basil to bok choy. The shade forces the plants to grow bigger leaves so they can capture more light. Sheep love the shade too. A lot of animals benefit from having a little bit more shade because then they have less heat stress, less need for water. Most agrivoltaics operations in America right now are for sheep grazing, but the big future may be cattle. The majority of agriculture land is for cattle, and that's also the cheapest land, and that's the land that solar companies are targeting. Shade and power aren't the only benefits of agrivoltaics. The solar panels can also save water by keeping the ground cool and lowering evaporation. They protect crops from hail and from spring frost. The underside of the panels bounces escaping heat back down to the ground. But their biggest benefit may be the money they bring in, helping more farmers keep farming. The revenue that a farmer can earn from a solar array can be five to ten times more than from growing crops. Which means more of your food could be made in the shade. Brad Hicks reporting.